Hello everybody. So normal proudest moment of life <coughs> had a cigarette. Doing all the notification. But yeah, it's been well almost a week since I had a cigarette. So it's almost been a week since I had a cigarette and well I don't know, I just feel worse about this. It wasn't even a full cigarette, it was just half of one. I feel worse about doing that and the entirety. It's like, I don't know, it's just the sense of shame, really. It's like, I actually tried to stop. And to be honest, I'm not going to give up trying because it's just, I don't know, I, I don't like this feeling that I got about it. I just cheated myself, basically. But on the plus side, I want to be negative this whole video. Um, one thing that I've noticed is you have skin on your teeth and skin breathes so yeah there's correlations between like the skin on your body and well the skin on your teeth i mean your teeth see co2 so so can your skin because there's skin on your teeth so you can actually just basically get rid of CO2 by using your skin. I mean, one way of doing this is by using hydrogen, obviously safely, because you don't want to use sunlight or gas I'd recommend using water I mean if you apply water well I'll move into a better lighting but basically if you apply water to your skin for a short amount of time let's say like 30 seconds no more than a minute you'll see co2 by like co2 changes state i mean oh, i think your skin is seeping co2 anyway and basically you can turn that co2 into methane by using warm water because the warm water essentially warms up the carbon allowing it to draw in uh the hydrogen from the water making it become methane and just as i speak my tooth is starting to like ache again my saliva glands they've literally just gone back to the swelling from like two days ago i'd say just from half a cigarette smoking definitely isn't good and this can uh, this confirms beyond all reasonable doubt it's just co2 all right that's all it is it's a build-up of co2 but i'll basically put my hands under some warm some warm water and had it there for about no longer than a minute and I rubbed my eyes and I noticed my eyes are started to go like red which is something that occurs whenever you basically expose your eyes to methane it's just an effect I'm not sure if you can see it but it's quite obvious I mean, I don't know if you can see, but I don't know, it might be something that you can't see. 
either way my tooth is starting to ache again and it's just it just isn't good so co2 seeps from the skin so if you use warm water to uh, basically get rid of co2 by turning it to methane which is actually a lot easier because methane is lighter than air as opposed to carbon dioxide so plus it, it's just better like for other people to be honest because co2 is denser than air and it's more likely to stick around on the surface due to the friction of it being around the body etc but as opposed to methane, it just rises up into the ozone and then changes state. Basically, methane will oxidize. And when it oxidizes, methane becomes water and carbon dioxide. However, that's gonna do it like further up in the altitudes. Like it's got a better chance of not affecting anybody as methane. But I can explain a bit about the physics of the chemistry. So basically, because you've warmed up the carbon, you've increased what's it what's known as electro negativity. So the electronegative the electronegativity of the carbon increased due to the temperature rise of the carbon which drew in the hydrogen allowing it to turn into methane and basically ascend away from you so it's like it's good but the good thing about this well revelation discovery I don't know what to call it, but it's news nonetheless. Basically, it means if you if you lose all your teeth, then it's not game over. Basically, you still got the rest of your skin that you can use to extract carbon from the body. I mean, it's not all down to you being it being exhaled and well. Excreted, etc. You can actually use water, just use warm water on your skin, and it will draw out the carbon and it will make it rise. It's good. I'm not sure if this is common knowledge or not, but it's news to me. So, do share the information if not the video. But that's. You, you don't want to like submerge yourself in a bath or anything like that. You just want to like cover the body in warm water and then just let it evaporate. Then that will get rid of a layer of CO2. But obviously, if you do that too often, then you'll end up drowning the skin. So, frequency and duration. play a part in this because if you uh, if you increase the frequency uh, too short of a duration then you're going to drown the skin and it's going to cause problems and basically it will hurt and your skin will go red and stuff like this it's basically it but it this can actually help your teeth as well. Like, I'm just going to throw that one out there. It's not really something that's discussed. It's <laughs> probably not even... Um, something which someone may agree with, but... The truth is, just having a short amount of water on the skin and letting it evaporate pulls out the carbon. Especially if it's water.